Okay, friends, how you doing? Uh, Facebook phones and uh, social network phones. Uh, today, I want to bring your attention to a uh, program, and uh, it's called our heart. Okay. Now, some people like myself will have an older MacBook. I still have this Snow Leopard MacBook, though it is updated to the OX, the latest version that Apple have supplied. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't uh, have air, airplay uh, capability. So I had to search the internet for something and find out what can I do. So I come across this program called Airport. Uh, basically, it's to buy it. It's nine dollars ninety-nine. Now you can try it, but you'll only get twenty minutes with it, and then I think it it ends it. Okay, so I decided to test it out as I do have a novel TV and I wanted to basically use my MacBook and airplay it to a 46 inch television screen. It also I can use it for an extra monitor on the on the TV screen. So I went ahead and I inquired about this airport and I tried it out first of all and then I decided to, to buy it. And just close that there. And uh, basically, it says exactly what it does. Your computer screen on your Apple TV wirelessly. So basically, whatever's on my MacBook, I can beam it straight to my Apple through my Apple TV to my TV screen. And basically, when you deinstall it, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, when you open up the program after you install it. It basically gives you a few settings here. So you basically take it for the Apple TV and also the audio is disabled by default. You just a matter of taking it and you might have to reboot your MacBook for the audio to kick in, which basically means that when you're using AirPlay and you want to use the sound from your TV, you just click enable audio rather than have the audio coming through your MacBook vice versa and etc. Now it's also available for Windows computers which basically you can mirror your screen in 1080 uh, high definition to your Apple TV and uh, they do have three other supported devices in mirroring 720 and etc. You can stream audio through it with video you can hide the cruiser and the mouse cruiser adjust the size to fill your TV and adjust the quality and it can fit the screen and also you can set your Apple TV to give you what they call a password which then you would type it into the program and away you go so it's a pretty interesting and it's pretty handy to use but it means that you do have no extra wires and no extra hustle basically connect any computer to a TV without wires Airport uses the built-in AirPlay feature on your Apple TV and once the airport is installed your computer works just like any other air play device which basically means friends you don't need a high definition lead and stuff like that there you don't want a lot of cables it's pretty handy so if I was to take my Apple TV a uh, small box that I bought a couple of years ago at a one off $99 I believe that's what it was and I connected it to my TV downstairs well then I could use my MacBook and Whatever I see in my MacBook, I can stream to my TV just by using this particular small app. It's pretty simple to install and it does require an Apple TV 2 or later. It's available on Windows and also available on the OS X, which I have on my MacBook. And I'm pleased with it. It works uh, at the minute. So I do believe I have it installed in this one. If not, it's on another computer. But I do believe that it did install it. So let me double check. Go through my programs quickly here to see if I can uh, check that it's on this one. Uh, I think a possibility I have installed it on my uh, other uh, laptop computer. 
there's also a small video that they do uh, have here and as I say you can thread but the thread the thread only lasts for uh, roughly 20 minutes you know so I'm using a 64 bit in this one here one to seven so we'll save it now you will get a demonstration here basically to run the installer as if you're installing any other program and accept the license agreement and uh, basically open the program after you've installed it you just click on it uh, if you're using windows then you've got to give it what they call the user account control permission and uh, you just take the box from your room to your apple tv or your macbook and etc and within seconds you've actually mirrored your macbook to your apple tv so I wanted to share that with you, okay, and you'll see the link at the top here. So if you type into Google A-I-R-P-A-R-R-O-T Airport, now you do need an Apple TV, okay, for to use it, unless you come across uh, some sort of a device that you can connect to your TV that will allow you to do your play, any guy or anybody out there knows about another program. Give us your feedback on YouTube. And I'm using a program here to record this uh, commercial studio, which is recording at the moment here in the bottom. So it's uh, it's a handy program, friends. Air part, not sit there in front of us. And as you can see, that would be your MacBook, okay, and then that would be your television. So whatever you're going to see in your MacBook, you can actually use it to your TV as an extra desktop and basically slide it across if you want to, or you can have it mirrored. We'll have you see exactly what's on your Mac will be on your TV screen, and that's an example there. And it's pretty straightforward. There's no messing about with settings and stuff like that. Just click if that's the resolution 19 by 20. Uh, if you want an extended desktop, you click that button there and enable audio, click that one and you'll get the TV sound coming through instead of the sound coming through your MacBook. Okay friends, hobby surfing and uh, PC Caremont speaking, airport and uh, I hope someone out there has maybe been looking for something like myself this will save you all the troubles. As I say, it's a one-off uh, by $9.89. Now, I think that is actually for the year. And if you're not too sure, there is a video here, a small video that they do have up. And I'll give you a couple of seconds of a clip of it here. Let's see. see with a guy sitting there in his living room with his MacBook or could be his Windows computer and if he wants to put it on his big TV through his Apple TV boom away you go now if you're wondering what an Apple TV is if you google it you will see a lot of videos on it uh, Apple sell them at a one off $99 I think that's what the price is and basically you get a high definition lead with it so if your television takes a high definition need for connecting your Apple TV up to. First of all, now you can use your Apple TV through the Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. You also can see Netflix on your Apple TV, YouTube and stuff like that there. But where it comes in handy is if you're using your computer and you've got an Apple TV and you've got another television, whether it's in your living room 
and you have your broadcast up say from Vaughn TV or YouTube or Ustream or whatever and you just fire your, your laptop up or your desktop computer up and just beam it straight into your living room so if you don't want to be sitting at your computer desk and you want to see a film or something that you have on your computer then this program is going to do it for you through your Apple TV Okay, so thank you very much, uh, PC Kermot. Uh, please follow me on Twitter, PC Kermot. And we do have a website up, which is www.pckermot.webs.com. Now, recently I had to convert it back to the free one uh, because of uh, a few bills I had to clear up at home first. So, in the near future, hopefully, we can get it back onto the paid version again, which will give us more. Uh, and stuff like out there. Okay, friends, thank you. Uh, PC Camel. So let's stop this broadcast.